Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to another video here on Sankan's YouTube channel. Now tomorrow it is Stoke versus West Brom at the Bet365 Stadium. Alex Neal side facing Carlos Corbrands. And you know what? We, we've we got nothing to play for. We've got five games remaining now the season. Any dream of the playoffs, which maybe was still there for Stoke fans, for some of, well, the glass half full Stoke fans anyway going into Good Friday's defeat against Bristol City. Like I say, that's over now. West Brom's is still completely there. They are five points off the playoffs, but with a game on hand in more or less every team that they're battling against for a place in the top six. If they win that game in hand, they will be two points off the playoffs, which then really does open it up, open up their chances anyway of finishing in the playoff spots so and possibly battling it out for a place in the Premier League next season. Carlos Corbrand coming into the uh, coming into the baggies has been top draw. I mean, like, really has turned their season around. I think they sacked Steve Bruce in about October time. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I know it was near enough around them. And the season looked like it was going nowhere, really. Carlos Corbrand came in after getting Huddersfield into the playoffs the season before, and he's completely revitalised the team. Now, a lot of West Brom fans would argue that there still isn't something quite right. I've spoken to quite a few baggage fans and they've all said that they still don't think something's clicking as, as well as it should be at West Brom. Something behind the scenes. But in terms of on the pitch, they've certainly turned the season around. The main players behind that, you've got players like Okai, Yokosulu in the midfield. Even Brandon Thomas Asante, he's had a fantastic season. Really unexpected as well to do as well as he had. Daryl DK, another one there, informed strikers. So yeah, it'll be a difficult game tomorrow. We just want to try and end off their players, a playoff hopes like we have to a lot of teams in the past few weeks or so. So let's let's carry on a solid run of form. One defeat in eight games for the Potters. Let's make that one defeat in nine. Come on, Stan. the Bet365 Stadium, waiting for the good old bit of a Midlands derby between Stoke and West Brom. Come on boys. Well this is the uh, the newly opened Ricardo, it's probably been open for a while now, but um, if you're a Stoke fan, get yourself down into here. It's a great pub before the game, even if you're an away fan, I think you can still get in for a is one quid entry. So get yourself in there because it is a nice place to go before the game. We'll be going in there in a minute. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's pretty neat to be fair. Brand new bar open. If you don't have a season ticket, you need one quid to get in, I think. Good value though. Good bar. Quick J2 before the game. Can't beat it. Okay then, so we've been in the pub. We're going to head into the stadium for kickoff now, so I'll see you then in three, two, one. Striker Dwight Gale inches away from giving Stoke the 
second player today going off on a stretcher there's been 11 added minutes at the end of the first half we're still in those 11 minutes plus a stretch right now so I thought I'd do my hard time thing now because I don't think anything else is going to happen um, and I'm really impressed actually with the first half we've in my opinion we've dominated the game they've not had any real clear-cut chances I think we definitely deserve to be in front it's not been a game of a lot of chances to be completely honest um, but no I still see in this out yes it they're going to pile on the pressure in the second half. They know how much they need to, to come back and get a point. Really, three, really, if they want to keep their playoff teams alive. So, they know it's a massive next 45 minutes coming up for, for them. For us, we've got nothing to play for other than denting their playoff aspirations. And I think we'll do that in the second half. Maybe get another goal, see out the three points. Come on, Stan. And there is the end of the first half. After a long 12 minutes. Our first half stop this time. Let's get into the second half. Oh, Brown going forward. Joey scored one today. Good ball, Lauren. Just hit it, man. Gale. Oh, please, a shoot. Oh. Oh, Sante. Got Carl and Grant up for support. This for the leveller. What a save! Incredible save by Jack Bonham. A huge chance for Colin Grant. Got the side away well. Going towards that top right corner. Brilliant save by Bonham. Swift. Into the middle. That's a good ball. Oh no. Oh, it's off the ball. And it's in. West. 
Well, Callan Grant missed a chance a minute ago, but made up for it. Well, he didn't, but it's Malumbi who nodded in after it hit the bar. Defence all over the shot, West Brom are level. Goal for West Brom in their season, that was. I've seen her all season. Honestly, I mean, I could talk about it for hours, but the referees in the FN are a joke, man. I mean, I'm not caught anything on camera, so it won't make any sense for you, but honestly, they're fourth officiating today by the man in the middle of the pitch. Has been absolutely embarrassing. Really poor all round. Asante, this could be the lead. Oh no, Swift. Oh, what a block. Oh, Grant, off the ball. What? It's got to be in. That was in. Well, Asante played the ball back, shot by Swift for Grant, Grant's header off the bar, fell for Malumbi, he put it away again. It's 2-1 West Brom, they're in dreamland, they're going to, well, this is a big game in their playoff push. Oh dear. general throw for him to catch it and he stood there not put his arm out not catch the ball and then chucks himself on the floor like he's I don't even know oh my days this referee is a joke we're down to 10 men for the last two minutes to stop his time what a joke referee to one to the referee to one to the referee to one It really does feel like that as well. Rob by that referee. 
absolutely robbed by him. A massive win for them in their playoff push. They needed that today. They needed a win to really keep their chances alive, and that's exactly what they've done. Those away fans have been fantastic, and you know what? You don't want to be sort of stereotypical in some ways and blame a defeat on the referee, but in some ways, a lot of the reasons we lost today because of him was because of him. Sorry. The first goal, I mean, I'd have to look back on it more in detail, but it looked like Bonham was fouled before Malumbi headed home their equaliser. Just lots of little stuff really triggered me a little bit today with the fourth officiating. But look, well, they deserve credit. I'm not going to say they necessarily deserved it because I thought it was quite an even game. But if you're going to make the playoffs, you need to win games like this. You've got to come out on top, and that's what West Brom have done today. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video here on Sankar's YouTube channel. Do not forget to drop a like and subscribe. That's it.